Hello everyone and welcome to Conan Exiles. We're going to try that game out guys. It just came to Xbox One maybe about a week ago or so. I was waiting for a patch before I started recording it because uh, the digital copy that I got was pretty darn buggy. Um, they had to patch a lot of things up but uh, thanks, to, thanks to the devs uh, we have a fixed game. So this is uh, right after the intro guys and uh, what I did uh, after the title screen I mean and what I did was skip that just because it's uh, kind of so long and you never know if it's going to crash or not they're still having issues with it it is in early access uh, but with all that being said guys we're going to uh, start building our character and get spawned in we are just doing single player um, co-op and uh, right now it's just going to be me going solo to kind of uh, show you guys a little bit of the game I like to go with the uh, tribal uh, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce their last name but I like going with them because of their description it says they're kind of caught in the middle of uh, two religious uh, kingdoms so they're kind of the neutral of it all so I figured that would be a good base start for our uh, race as far as they're concerned and they're good survivalists uh, that's another thing so we're gonna go with that uh, once again with the uh, gods these are god systems you can uh, have a relig particular religion and uh, these gods represent those religions and uh, you can actually use them as uh, somewhat like a summons like in Final Fantasy almost so and I always go with uh, Yerm because uh, he's kind of uh, he's not too bossy of a god he doesn't request too much and he, he uh, you can summon a storm's frost giant will come to your uh, aid you can summon that so that seemed pretty cool so we're gonna go with that as the far gods. as voice goes eh, I've played around the with gods. them all guys and uh, desperate seems to sound I guess the most normal so I'm gonna go with that one as far as uh, faces go I either go with the uh, one they issue which is I think four or five or uh, one and I'm just gonna go with one <coughs> this time uh, we actually want to go back though and I want to change her skin tone just a little bit there we'll, we'll bronze her up a little more nice tan okay as far as hair goes um that is the one in the intro so I won't go with that I think I'm gonna go with the short hair we'll go with brown eyebrows are fine go up here to uh, lips real quick and we're gonna leave it at one because that's smallest I mean can't see much of a difference really guys but it's kind of uh, kind of weird when you change them so I'm gonna go with that and uh, pale pink I guess eyeshadow I think I uh, usually leave it on about three and uh, as far as the color of the eyeshadow sure we'll go with uh, a lime greenish color all right face uh, jawline and such I'm just gonna kind of keep as is guys the nose I will tighten up just a little bit real quick okay and uh, mouth I'm just gonna go with a small one ears are fine can't really see them anyways as far as eyes go scale a little down there that's fine that's fine brown sure uh, height I like to go right as it clicks over so you've got uh, obviously small stature medium stature large stature and I like to go just right there and if you guys look at the uh, the crucifixion the the posts that were uh, tied to nailed to what have you <clears throat> looks like one's tied one's nailed it's kind of rough but anyway if you see our feet hanging there you can kind of uh, see them move up and down determining uh, the size and we're just gonna go slightly tall physique oh let's see uh, definitely going uh, nude for our personal entertainment and uh, as far as physique goes guys I'm gonna kind of bring it down because I've played around with the physique and uh, you get a little too muscularly I don't know if that's if that's what you're into you can definitely rip them right out look at all those muscles oh my gosh but I'm gonna go with uh, kind of a uh, sleek looking uh, girl and uh, those are fine and we'll go let's see what are we gonna name I'm gonna go with one of my favorite comic book characters sure 
You guys are more than welcome to uh, Google search that name. Basically, uh, Bob Fett's uh, granddaughter, I believe, in comics. Mir to give. We'll go with that. Sure, why not? All right, let's hope we have a good run at this, guys. Uh, has been pretty buggy. They did patch it up. It did uh, help a substantial bit, but is still a little uh, buggy. So, with a little bit of luck, we'll be able to uh, run this smoothly here. All right, guys, and it, it spawns you into, uh, in the description, uh, this is where they take, uh, thieves and, um, and whatnot, and, uh, they crucify them out in the middle of the desert so that they can just, uh, starve death, and that's kind of where we're at. I'm gonna go, uh, third person right now. And, uh, what we want to do, first of all, is walk up to this. And I'm playing on the Xbox One, guys, uh, so if you're on PC, it will be a different key, whatever uh, I would imagine action or interaction with button is, but on the Xbox One, it's X. And we'll get that going while we make our way this way. Of civilization. Beyond the passage of our highways, by the wild places of the world. Where untamed savages make endless war upon each other. You cannot pass into the endless wastes enslaved. Your bonding prevents it. Return. Follow the road. Any road. All roads lead to the city. Uh, and I forgot, guys, this is why I ran back real quick. Uh, we need to grab this because this is something you have to craft and you have to unlock first. Uh, but we get a freebie by doing that, so Left definitely don't forget that like I just passed. did. Now we want to go back into here. just jog Slaves. mode. You're not going to burn your Dead stamina that candles. way. Exiles from lands I've never heard of. Some of them try to scrape a life from the wasteland, scrabbling in the rocks and sand for their own place. And I cannot go on. The life that I left behind haunts me. The sun over the glittering spires of Belverus is never denied me. The smell of my daughter's hair. I will pass the ghost fence, and this cursed land will finally end me. To whoever reads this note, I leave the last of my water and this message. Stranger, you have my pity. You do not know how cursed you truly are. All right. <clears throat> now, Mr. Uh, Prehistoric Bat here. Stick. this sandstorm. We were forced to take refuge before the wind scoured the skin from our faces. There is something in the storm. Beasts. We hear the skittering of their paws outside the ruins, and their howls mingled with the screaming winds. The men are scared. I've put them to work crafting rudimentary weapons and torches from the loose stones and rough plants that dot this place. I've yet to meet a beast that liked fire, or the bite of the axe. All right, guys, and the reason why I'm not really exploring around and I'm just following this path right now is because I highly recommend you do the same. It's because when you're first spawned into this, uh, if you notice in the uh, top left-hand corner, all of our icons up there, they all mean different things. It's health, stamina, water, food, uh, experience, 
crafting and uh, it lets you know how much daylight and uh, nighttime that you have left in that last meter. But right underneath that it says overheating one. And when you first start in desert you're in overheating two. And it will not take you very long to actually pass out and die. So you want to make your way as quickly as you possibly can to a water source. And that's why we went back and picked up that uh, device to carry the water satchel so we can carry water around with us. Otherwise, we'll have to wait until we level up, which we just did, um, to craft one. Also, you have to gain the materials uh, by plucking uh, leaves off of plants like so. I do have a creature behind me, but not worried about him. <laughs> And then obviously you've seen me pick up sticks by also an action button, X. I think we've got a grub right here. Nice. And we want to get to the water. That's going to be our safety at the moment. We want to go in just about waist deep. Look down at it. Hit X. And drink water. And we'll go ahead and avoid that guy just for the moment. I could have beat him in a fist fight, but... Uh, We'll just cross over right here. We're going to just start gathering resources right after. I'm going to show you guys now um, how you level up. So you hit start. You want to bring your... Bring it on over here to head. It's a little wonky on the uh, directional, on the skills, trees, and right now, everything. But we want to go to level up. And we want to go down to, you have all these different categories to uh, fill points into. You get one point per level. I've obviously leveled up twice already, it looks like. And uh, right off the bat, I would recommend at least putting one of these points in survival. What survival does is allows you to not be thirsty and hungry as often. So each point you put into it, you're going to be less and less. The less you'll have to worry about getting caught somewhere without food or water and starving or either dehydrating to death. And um, then after that, let's see, I'm going to put both points in there. I'll probably put my first four or five into survival, guys, so that we can just eliminate the element of having to eat and drink. So now we're going to go up to recipes here, guys. And this should be the one and only, the very first one that you unlock, guys. And the reason being is you can craft stone hatchets, fire, uh, fiber bed rolls, rawhide bed rolls, twine, glass uh, flasks, and uh, a few other items under there, guys. Just with this one skill. So we're going to unlock that with our one point that we have. So that we can go ahead and just start crafting tools so that we can gather resources much quicker right and now we'll gather some more resources I think I need more rock for sure definitely need a lot of twine so we're gonna have to gather a lot of fiber and these are the kind of elements uh, where I will definitely be uh, cut editing for you guys in the future when I do record uh, if oh gosh I'm getting attacked by a native so there's native tribes, all the different religions, different native tribes uh, in the Conan universe here, guys. And uh, they, w they are hostile. They will attack you. And if you don't have any weapons, then uh, it's probably good night to you unless you just escape them. And like I said, the best way to do that is just cross over. Now they're going to either figure out a way to get over here, and if it's too far of a run for them, they'll just go back to their... Uh, their patrol points so we'll just go pop over here we'll grab some fiber over here guys I'm gonna go back into jog mode so I'm not burning my stamina and basically just anything that looks like a bush and we have company again there is a lot of hostile uh, I think this is one of the smaller creatures yes we can fight him maybe not two of them though so let's go ahead and run for the water again, guys. Uh, we could just run down the island, maybe. We'll get far enough away from them. They'll bugger off. And no, we've got... Gosh, four of them? Wow. That is the most I've ever seen gather in one spot to attack me. 
I've uh, had a few runs at this now, guys. I'm getting pretty good at the uh, craft system, so I will be able to uh, guide you guys through a good bit of that. And uh, eventually, at some point, it is going to become fresh to me as well as uh, it will you guys too. But I will definitely catch up to you guys. Once we get past this uh, initial island, I've just been kind of hanging out here, playing around with this, experimenting with stuff, learning things, so that I can uh, present uh, a proper walkthrough for you. Now these particular bushes right here, guys, they're always along the beach lines, and if you pick them, you'll gather some berries out of them. Free food. Okay, guess I got all of those. There are alligators, they're prehistoric. Maybe a little larger than usual, but they are in the water. <laughs> they will come up on shore and um, attack you as well, guys. So definitely uh, be careful about that. We're gonna go ahead and grab these dinosaur eggs. These are just non-hostile prehistoric turtles. Uh, if we had like a hatchet or something, we could definitely uh, kill them and uh, steal their hide, which would uh, help us make some better weapons and uh, clothing. And we will get some clothing going eventually too. We are in a uh, tropical area right now, but there is a new DLC that came with the release of the Xbox One version um, for the Frozen North. And we will be heading our way up there at some point during this uh, walkthrough, guys. And, I, and there is a multiplayer aspect, too, guys. I forgot to uh, mention that uh, if you uh, would like to see some of that action, I will definitely uh, oblige you and show you some uh, multiplayer. But I figured we would start out in solo mode so that we can just kind of go at our own pace, explore the world, learn things, and then maybe when we've mastered the game enough where we feel comfortable enough competing against other players online, fighting them and fighting them for resources, <clears throat> that will go into some multiplayer action for sure. Alright, so there's a tribe right over there, guys. They're all over the place. They will be around or near fires, so that's a good indication definitely at nighttime. There is nighttime daytime cycles. Let's see. Let's see how many resources we have now. We have 13 stone, plenty of, um, all right, so we have plenty of fiber. So let's go over to twine and, uh, yes, we're going to make at least 10. And let's see what else do we need right off of the bat. We need seven more uh, rocks, so we're gonna go get some rock real quick, guys. Go ahead and pick some more of these uh, branches up. Branches actually craft weapons, guys, and uh, wood is for burning. You'll uh, notice difference when you start playing it yourself, or when we build a fire here in just a little bit, we're going to, and uh, wood burns for the fires. And like I said, the branches are for crafting weapons and, and other items like bows and everything, so. Alright, I think that was like three or four or five, maybe. Need to find some more loose rocks. Okay, another stick, another stick, another stick, another stick. You can just go to this rock here, you should be able to gather. No, I guess maybe they patched it. You can just go to the big rocks before and, uh, and hit the action button and uh, absorb a rock out of the big rock. It was kind of, it's kind of funny. You could also pick up pretty decent sized rocks that you shouldn't be able to pick up. Uh, so they are working on it. Like I said, it's in early access, so we'll just have to kind of bear with it. But uh, I think they have a good product here. We should have enough stone now to craft a hatchet, my best friend. All right. And that is going to help us gather resources much quicker, guys. All right. We has a tool. Nice. Now we can uh, combat things. We can defend ourselves. And we can also uh, gather resources much quicker by doing this. A lot like Ark. 
I would have to say uh, it's a good combination between, mm, I don't know, Ark, maybe Elder Scrolls, a little bit. Okay, we'll go ahead and smash this rock up too. You do have weight issues and everything. It is uh, very much like an RPG MMO. With a single player aspect to it. All right, um, we need more fiber. It takes a lot of uh, fiber to make twine. I think it's like three fiber to every twine, maybe. And you need twine to build your weapons, guys. It's what, you know, wraps around and everything. And you also get uh, bugs and seeds out of the, uh, out of this action doing, or, uh, plucking the, uh, the leaves and everything. So that's neat. I gained another level. Nice. Let's see, I hear them. Forgot where they were, those turtle things. I think they're over here. Yes. Nice. Easy way to collect a bunch of hide. Excellent. Now they will start running once we initially kill the first one, so I just kind of like to kill them all real quickly. Yeah. Yeah. And where'd you go, bud? Because I want you to. I want your leather, too. Yeah, get the weapon back out. Come on. We'll catch them. They're not very fast at all. Hopefully those other bodies don't disappear. I haven't experimented for this long. But you do have to chop up the body after you kill it, guys, to uh, gain another hide. So definitely want to do that. And they were over here. Excellent. Please still be here. Yes, they are. Nice. There we go. We also get uh, some meat out of the deal where we can cook that and eat that. So that's good. The sound on the tools and everything. Uh, the actions of cutting the trees. It's not making a noise right now. It, they still do need some patches, guys. It, it needs work. But uh, uh, it's definitely a running system right now. It's enough to present to you guys, I think. So there we go, we got some wood for fire, we got rock. I think we have a decent amount of twine. Now that we have a decent amount of resources, we can start leveling our skills up, unlocking more of them so we can craft more things. Let's see, this is a good... Let's see. This is a good marker as far as exploring this island, guys. You got this, and then you've got those monuments over there. We could go way down there, but we're closer to this right now. And I'll probably end the video soon, guys. It is getting up there, so we're going to find a little home base real quick. And we're going to set a camp up. And that's where we'll end our, our first day here, guys. But I wanted to show you a few more uh, things about the skill trees and the leveling up system. Uh, before we ended the video. So, hmm, more turtle guys. Hmm. I so should. I mean, it's leather. We, we need it. We need it almost more than anything. Else. Yep, come on. There you go, buddy. You need to go into the water. Sorry. Oh. Alright, so a quick way to recraft your weapons just go to your wheel. Click back on it, and you'll just recraft one real quick. It's easier than going to the craft menu, selecting the item, finding it first, and then selecting it and crafting it. It's just real quick, uh, quick action. Where'd that other guy go? He should be coming back. Oh, there he is. Won't you hide, sir? I'm sorry. But I need your hide. Really be great if an alligator started attacking us now. <laughs> Alright, come on. Yep. Okay, and we'll just go over to this beach head real quick. Guess we'll get a drink first. There we go. Alright, we discovered the sentinels. Nice. That's these two statues. And uh, let's go to our menu, guys. Let's go to... We have six hides now. Nice. Alright, and uh, we actually want to go to level up. And let's see, we're just going to put, like I said, one more point into um, survival. 
so that we are even more resistant to uh, hungers and uh, thirst. And we'll go to recipes now, guys. And I always like to unlock the campfire next. That way we get the campfire, we get the sealed water skin where we can carry water in a pouch. But as you guys remember at the beginning of the game, if you grab that from the beginning, you won't have to craft one. So you get a freebie. So we're going to unlock that for the purpose of the campfire. Should have plenty of wood. Just got to wait for it to get crafted real quick. Sentinels are pretty uh, badass. I think it is possible, guys, to go all the way up to the top of that mountain. I think it is, maybe. At least the other one, maybe, somehow. I know you can climb up and around a lot of this, so that's neat. Very much open world, completely open world. All right, I must eat something soon. Well, we should probably do that. So this is your items on this side, guys. And over here is your crafting items. It's just showing you what you've learned so that you know what you can craft. And uh, we're going to go over to, uh, let's see, what do we have that we can eat right now? We can eat these four bugs. If it'll let me. Yep, there we go. Got to highlight it first. Duh. And then uh, I have one uh, dinosaur egg too that we can eat. And we do have berries actually, desert berries. Sure, why not? We'll eat all those. All of that really didn't do much good. We're only one quarter of the way full now. So we are still pretty hungry, but uh, nonetheless, we'll be fine for our rest. Is the campfire really not uh, done yet? Did I not have all the resources? Or maybe I just didn't click to craft it? Odd. All right, maybe I didn't. Thought I did. There we go. Now we have our campfire, so we'll just highlight that on the uh, weapons wheel. And it's going to be X if you can't put it down, obviously. And uh, if you can, bam. Just go with RB once and then B out of that. Go over to the fire. Hit X. And you want to go back over to your items now. And you want to put, put over in the uh, hot bar under the fire what you want to put in there. So we want to put some wood in there. You know what? We're just going to give it all. We're going to put this meat in there. And now we must go and we must turn it on. And it's going to start cooking meat for us, guys. And while that's cooking, guys, I'll just do my sign-off for you guys. And so I hope you guys are enjoying the Conan Exiles series. It's going to be uh, kind of slow going at first. We're just going to explore this island, probably a first couple parts. And then uh, we'll start making our way up through the map system. Um, I forget which one the map. There we go. There's the map. So as you guys can see, it is a humongous. Whoops. Kind of unzoomed for me. Humongous map, though. There's major cities that we can, uh, or major towns or establishments that we're going to be able to visit. And then obviously this up here is the Frozen North DLC pack. And it is huge, guys. So... Probably looking at like a state size worth of virtual playground here. So uh, definitely going to be um, neat to check out. Uh, and definitely if I see the love and support from you guys, I will definitely uh, do these quickly for you. And uh, we'll continue the series on. Uh, it's up to you guys if you want to rate it. Definitely let me know if you like it or not. It's something you want to see. Uh, definitely will be a uh, experienced walkthrough to an extent and then we'll just kind of be winging it but uh, at that point I think we'll be pretty knowledgeable about the game but uh, nonetheless I uh, hope you guys are enjoying it and until next time as always we'll see you later